Hello YouTube. Good morning. Early morning. Look how rough I'm looking, but I don't care because I figured I need to share this with you all of me uh, customizing my niece's prom dress. Her prom is next weekend. Um, I had to do a fitting because I had cut this bottom part. This is a fabric I got from the African store. This piece right here. And I'm put, she wanted that on the bottom where her mom wanted more of exotic and an exotic dress because I got this dress. She picked it. My niece picked it out on a Poshmark and it was 38 bucks. And it's just a black dress and it has this little see-through right here, this little part right there. And the what above the waist is really cute. It comes all the way down. Just a black satin dress. But I bought this fabric to put on the over the bottom part to give it a little more pizzazz at the African store this fabric you know you I had to get six yards so it was a hundred and five dollars for the fabric so thirty eight dollars for this and hundred five dollars for the fabric but I have more fabric than this so I can make other stuff with this fabric which I'm going to do I'm probably gonna make her a little shawl and some jewelry and then I'm gonna make me maybe a skirt with this to put it on top of a satin fabric or any kind of fabric and I'll show you when, uh, when I do that as well. But I was like, well, let me share this with my channel. I haven't done a DIY in a while. So what I did was pin this all around. Just little pin. You know, little clothing pins. I can't, yeah, you see it. Pinned it all around the waist. And I had to add a piece when she came for the fitting. Because uh, me pinning it without her being here did not help. So I needed her here when I pinned it. So I had to add this much to it while she had it on so yeah I had to add that much to it so when you do the penny make sure the person is there and it's like a fitting I'm new to this sewing stuff because so, I had to add this much fabric to the side of the dress to make it fit on her while it was on her and she was complaining because I kept poking her with the pins because <laughs> I'm new to this I didn't poke her that much but she was sucking it in sucking it in so she wouldn't get poked but I gotta, I'm got i going to hand sew it around the waist. I may use my sewing machine since it's fixed now. My sewing machine is fixed. Thank you to the lady that fixed my sewing machine. She did it for free. That was so nice of her. I'm going to have to make her something. Um, so I may use the sewing machine for the, the, the downward part. Or I may just do it by hand as well. But I'm going to do the waist by hand. So let's get this started. I didn't want to leave you all out on it. And I had my needle and my piece of thread, but where did it go? Something always happens when I'm trying to record. And I'm just using black thread. It's black thread, and if I can find my needle, did I just drop it on the floor or something? Dang on it. Do I have to stop recording again? I'm sorry, y'all. But I just had my needle and thread, and I think I knocked it on the floor or something. You know what I did? Is this it? I think this is, and it's knotted up. Uh, how did it? Paul found my needle and thread. It was in the dress with your needle, and I got about this. I don't know the length of that. It's just a, enough to hopefully go all the way around. But, uh, 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 this dress is a size ten. Size ten dress. Morgan and Company by Linda Burnell. That's the brand of the dress that I got off of Poshmark for thirty-eight dollars <laughs> and six forty-nine shipping. So let's get to the stitching. So I'm just gonna stitch around this and just stitch in the satin part. Like I'm just gonna stitch. Did I knot that up? I thought I knotted it up on the end, but let me make sure that I knotted it. Up. Yeah, make sure you knot it up on. Um, Oh, but I knotted it around the self because there's a loose end. If y'all can't really see that, but yeah, I have to re-knot this because I just put a knot on nothing on one. Let me see. I'm trying to show y'all what I did, but y'all can barely see the freaking thread. Yeah, I just put a knot on one end of the thread. <laughs> I thought I had both ends down there. Make sure you have both ends down there. It's not truly a knot if it's just one side of the thread. Duh. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. 
<clears throat> not it. You just roll it around your finger. That's what I do to make my knots. I roll both pieces of thread around my finger and roll them into knots. And now it's knotted. Uh, me getting used to the can you see the knot? So now it's knotted. Knotted pretty good. So now let's get to sewing. Let's get it started. Just gonna do a regular stitch. Just a under up, under and up. That's all I'm doing. Under and up. I probably need a stronger needle than this because it's yeah, it's almost bending the needle, but I'm gonna use what I got. Cause I don't have a stronger needle. You gotta use what you get. So since I don't have a stronger needle, I'll probably just try to go through the satin part and not the slip under the dress and the satin part because this dress has like a tulu and a slip and everything under it. I think you call those things tulu, the mesh stuff. See, cause when I go under, it's hard to get it out when I go under the everything. Cause see. Uh, uh. And I can't be taking this long to do every stitch. Dun, 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 and move the pins as you go along so you don't have a bunch of pins to take out once you finish sewing. Uh oh, did I just break the I just broke the needle. See? Uh I'll try again. People, I don't Okay, I got a new needle. I thought I broke the other one and I got a thimble just in case I don't want to stick myself, but I probably still will because I always do. Now I'm just gonna go over the, I'm just gonna go over the satin. I'm not even gonna try to go through. Just sew through the satin, which is the top layer of the dress. That's all I'm gonna do, because I'm not breaking the needle again. But to get this knot where it's not going to show, I need to go under the fabric so you see where I'm. There's the fabric I'm going under with the first stitch, so that knot at the end will not be showing. So let me, yeah, because you never want your knot to be showing there. See now the knot is not. The knot is not showing. Cut that light on. Cut the other light on, J3. Need more light. So maybe y'all can see a little bit more, but I'm just doing under and over. And just through the satin, not through anything else on this dress. This is the finger that the thing needs to be on, because this is the side where the needle comes out. I had it on the wrong finger. On the wrong hand. It needs to be on my thumb because that's where it is, but it's not big enough for the thumb. They do have thumb thimbles, but my thumb is wide. Everybody's thumb is, except for people with skinny fingers. Why am I talking when it's going to be fast forward through this part? Hmm, what happened here? Here, three stitches at a time. You go up, under, up, under, up, under, and then pull to make it quicker. Don't do one stitch at a time, or you'll be doing this all day. Once you get the hang of it, just do it up, under, up, under, up, under, then pull. And as many times as you can do it without breaking your needle or your thread. I may try more than three this next round. There's this green thread. There's some green thread over here in the way. Okay, now 
Let me get to the end of that. This green thread, I do not know where it came from. But it's messing me up. It needs to go away. How it got in there, don't know. Don't know where you came from, green thread. See, I have a green thread that came from, well, can y'all see what color it is? See that? Don't know where that came from at all. Not unless it came out of the thing when I was, no, because it's like stuck down in through it and everything. Lord, I must have pinned that when I pinned the dresser to her. But it needs to go. It's in the way. I yeah, got that out of there. No green thread. I'll get that up later. But it was causing confusion. And God is not the author of confusion. Maybe Satan? Y'all remember that church chat? Church chat, church chat, church chat. I hope y'all been doing all right. I'm not going to talk this whole time. I just want to talk to y'all a little bit. And y'all can respond down below. How y'all been doing? Where you live? What do you like to sew? How to do your hand sew? It's very relaxing. And I need some relaxation after the stressful week I've had. Never think your child being in the 12th grade with Ed's is so much stress. Because my son has also decided to go to prom. His prom's the same time next weekend. And he's like, last minute, I told him to let me know a month ahead. Still trying to find him a suit, so I got to go out today and find him a suit. He's going to go with me. That's what he don't know. Waiting till the last minute. I could have ordered a suit online. I tried, but some of them won't come, say they can, can come between the 26th and the 1st. Can't be having that. I'm going to put this video up after her prom because I'm sure she doesn't want everybody to see her dress before the prom. Well, she kind of does, but her mom doesn't. <laughs> she, she wants everybody to be surprised. So I don't know how, somehow I have to make it, so he's going to either have to get dressed early, <laughs> and hopefully she's dressed early so they can take pictures together <laughs> before they go to prom, because it's on the same day, but at different places. Same time, but in different <laughs> places. So we got to find a way to get them together to take some pictures. My son's suit should be this blue color, so that would be good. Get them together, take some pictures, and then he can get back to his date to the prom last minute date to the prom just got the date last weekend on his birthday <laughs> his friend uh, I don't want to break my needle again you guys sometimes you can't do the three stitches because Trying to make it complicated, and I do not want to break the needle again. That's what I do not want to do. Trying to stay on the top layer just to satin, but somehow the needle keeps doing what it wants to do. That thimble never does me any good. I don't. Uh oh, I don't want this to break. It's going to have to go to the top layer somehow. There we go. I'm getting the waist done pretty fast. Getting a good bit of this waist done. Quicker than I thought. Don't want this mesh to be sewn underneath the other mesh that I'm putting on top. So you gotta watch that. Make sure it's laying how it's supposed to lay. 
It's not going to get some because I'm going to stay on this top layer. If I stay on this top layer, just to set out, had the needle the wrong way. See, this is what happens when you're an amateur. I'm not an amateur at hand sewing, though. I did that since I was a teenager. It's just these fabrics. Uh, hand sewing is just, I like that better if it's. It's just so relaxing. You see how to try instead of trying to use the machine all the time to get things done quick. If you need to relax from stress, just hand sew something. Even make a pillow or a pillowcase. Probably should have done the other side first, the side that didn't have this extra piece. Because now i got to get figure out how I'm I'm going to stitch this extra piece together because I'm running into it now. I think I'm just going to tuck it under for now. Yeah. And sew it that way. Don't really have to worry about the extra piece until I get to this going down the sides. But for the top part, I can just tuck it under and sew it this way. Take another pin off. Stick pins, stick pins. Gotta have some tough hands for hand stitching, unless you know how to. If, unless the thimble works for you, the thimble never works for me because I always go in a different direction than where the thimble is, so it doesn't help me at all. This is where that meets, where the gold. See the gold and the blue. That's where that extra piece is meeting right here. So yeah, you gotta make sure you get that in there. So I advise, like I said earlier, we do the fitting with the person here. Put this other material on while the person has to dress on. Then you don't have to worry about adding pieces. But if you just want to pin it and don't have the patience like I did and ended up having to pin it again and cut another piece, I've learned my lesson to wait till the person's there to, to do that part, that part because you'll never put enough fabric. Because you just putting it around the length of the dress does not tell you what it'll look like when the dress is on the person. How this got folded around this bead, I do not know. And so many times. Like it doesn't want to. There, got it. Ow, I keep sticking myself. See, that's why you need to work at them. Oh, I'm going to cry. At least I'm not sticking it to where I'm bleeding, but still. Jeez, it hurts. But she'll probably laugh at that because I stuck her a couple of times when she was doing the fitting. Because <coughs> the dress fits, fits. And these little diamonds keep coming off, but there's so many of them on there that it doesn't really matter, but still. That fabric was this fabric was a hundred something dollars. You'd think these things would stay on there. Shoot. Hundred and five dollars now. Any way you can get tangled, it is fine in this way. It's irritating, y'all. But I keep getting it untangled, but still. Mm -hmm. I gotta be very careful when doing this stuff, because it finds this way to get tangled. Somehow, some way. Some way, somehow. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yay, I'm getting to another pin. I'm getting to another pin. Makes me feel like I'm getting progress when I get closer to the each pin. Push pin.
Another push pin to remove. I removed four so far. Yay. Celebrate, celebrate, celebrate today. Yeah, I just made that up. Just because I'm getting happy because I'm getting the hang. I'm always a little rusty when I first start off. But I'm getting the hang. But now I'm going to stop talking because I'm going to speed this up. I've been talking to y'all this whole time. Speed it up to the waist this time. See, see what I did. This is what I was trying to avoid doing. Is this? We see that catch right here. And I got to cut the thread and start over to get this catch out. I don't know how I did it or when, but I did it. Darn it. I was trying my best not to. I thought I was on a roll. There it goes. Got it. Out. There. And this will keep both of these pieces of thread together tight into the dress. Time to cut them a couple times together. Maybe three times. Tie three knots. And both pieces, the piece that you had to cut and the other piece that you tap knotted back up again. Both should be knotted at the end though. <laughs> Good to sew. Is that a good to know? So I finished, got it from from here, this part of the zipper, to here, this part of the zipper. So the waist is done. The waist is complete. So y'all yeah, all can see that the waist is complete. Let me put this down so it doesn't get in the way. But yeah, the waist, uh-oh, what's going on? Must have been how I was holding it. But yeah, the waist is complete. Got that part done. So now I gotta do the the end pieces, the downward pieces. I'm trying to make sure I got a good knot on this piece before I go to the downward pieces. Put the knot under some. Kind of putting that knot right here, and I don't want it. Well, it can be there. See that little piece is right there. 
the connection. So I'm gonna make the knot underneath here. Just keep stitching through and through and through until you have a knot. You go one way, then you stitch the opposite way. Stitch one way a few times, then stitch the opposite way a few times. Stay stitching between itself so you can make this knot. And there you go, see? It's good. It's good. Don't yank too much, but it's good. And now I'm going to zip this up, pin it up, and get this part. To connect it downward. Probably be easier to use a sewing machine for this part, but I don't want to get my sewing machine. So I'm going to do it by hand. So I've been taking my time today working on this. What did I start at? Like, I don't know what time. I, we'll we'll find out. But I've just been eating and doing other things throughout the day. It's 2.30. A little bit after 2.30 now. Almost 2.40. Just taking my time. If I was doing it fast, I would have done it fast. But I have all day, basically. But I'm out in the afternoon. But I took this that piece that I showed you that I had to add. So on this side, I'm stitching it in and out, in and out, instead of over and under over and under along the seam i'm st stitching it in and out up and down same way i did around the waist up and down up and down and so this will be because this is the center of the back where the seam is on the actual dress where the zipper and stuff is so yeah you wanted to show that that is the seam and then the other side of it which is pinned but not sewn yet is here had a kind of hard time pinning this because this is cut very uneven as you see. So I'll have to cut some more of that off when I before I sew it because I'm going to sew this at over and under because it doesn't have to have a seam. So it will be just sewn over and under. It won't really look too much like a seam being sewn that way. So yeah, we'll see what happens when I get done. I'll do a little bit of this finishing this the middle seam. Hi Team Miranda. Yeah, he keeps popping up. Yeah, buddy, day three. But yeah, you can kind of see some of the stitching. See? See those stitches? That's what I'm doing on this middle seam of the back. And I'm doing like six, sti six stitches at a time because <laughs> that's pretty easy with this fabric. And it doesn't have to be perfect with this fabric because this is just a covering and the black's under it. So you won't be able to really see the stitching. Because the actual dress is going to be under this mesh. you just see the mesh fabric on top. Just doing like this. Up and down. Up and down. And then stretch it carefully so you don't get knots. Because I have a, this is a very long piece of thread. I've been having a lot of knotting difficulties today. Here's a piece of plastic. Okay. They got in the way. Why there was a piece of plastic? I don't know. So how the fabric was created with certain pieces of plastic on it that you got to pull off. Okay, and then be careful because you don't want you to knot your fabric. No, 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 no. Because you got to keep, you'll have to keep cutting it like I had to do earlier. And then I, I had to unpin this to get this piece pinned right because I didn't pin it right when she did the fitting. I just got the top part done right because that's the part that I had to size to her. And then I just knew this spreads out as it goes down, so she's fine. 
just doing the stitches like this. I'll get them closer so y'all can just see what I'm doing. I'm just going in and out, in and out. I'm pulling carefully, making sure, okay, here's this is called up here, so you pull carefully to get that catch out. Look how good this looks around the zipper. Everything's hand stitched. I did this whole thing. I'm doing this whole thing hand stitched, but look how good that looks around the zipper. See? Such a good job hand stitching. Uh, if I did it by machine, I'd be done by now. I've still got that one side to do, but yeah. yeah. See? That's the stitch. But that's the decorate. It looks like it was made like this, don't it? I'm good at hand stuff. So one good thing we learned this stuff in home economics in high school many, 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 many years ago. Yeah, now I just got one little more piece to make. One more little piece, not one little more, and then we're done with the dress. I got the little part right here to sew together. See, at the bottom of the zipper. So I'm gonna stitch that because did, I didn't start sewing to right here because I wanted to make sure I didn't mess this up. Like with the stretch, I wanted to make sure I got everything perfect, and it looks basically perfect. It might be one little. What is this? Let me see. Yeah, I can move that back a little bit. Uh, I got some glue. No, that's from one of the beads that one of the crystals tucked under. But yeah, looks really good. Looks really good. And I can unzip and zip it with no problem. See, see, see. No, nothing getting caught, nothing, 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 nothing. That's how far the zipper goes. I really like how that looks because it looks like it's made like that. Because it is, because I made it that way. <laughs> All right, so let me finish, people. So I just got this small piece of thread for that little piece. Below the zipper, this little piece right here, got to just stitch this over and under, over and under to seal this closed. And just through the mesh, not through the fabric. Uh oh, I did it on the wrong spot. Now I gotta cut it again because I. See, I, every time I talk to y'all, I get, I get distracted, y'all. So now I got to cut it. Because <laughs> I don't want the knot on the outside. The knot's supposed to be underneath the fabric. Not on the outside where it can pull and stuff. And here's some thread here from when I stitched that down. It needs to be, well, no, that's the material. Okay, so let me put this on the inside so the knot is underneath. Not on top. No knots on top. Alright. Over and under to seal. Over and under to seal. Way now to seal my knot. Opposite way. And that's good enough for me. Maybe one more time the opposite way. And that's good enough for me, y'all. So now I just got that one side to do. And got my little, what do you call these little knives? pocket knife knife but it's really a wine opener when I from when I used to drink wine but I don't drink wine anymore but yeah now it's sealed up now that little part is sealed up so this is what it looks like with the zipper and everything's sealed up and still the zips down and it's still and that's where the zipper ends
So it's zipping as far down as it's supposed to. And it still zips up. So we're good to go. And this is the dress so far. Just have one part to do. And it's already pinned together. And it's over and under, over and under. So I sewed that last part right side up. Because I did the seam on the other side. So I would have a seam. Oh no, this is the side. Yeah, I'm saying this is the part. But the seam's on the other side. Yeah. But I don't do it right side up. I gotta turn it the other way so I can do over and under, over and under. Yeah. Forgot. I forgot. Did I pinned it on this side? If I would have pinned it on the other side, I could have done it that way. But no, I had to pin it this side because you don't want the rough edges to show. But I started it the opposite way. I could have finished it that way. So, how far stitched is this? Oh no, that's the seam. This is the seam. That is the seam. Where's the other side then? The seam's on this side. And the other part that I gotta sew is here. So, yeah. Then I'm just gonna go over and under, over and under, over and under. Do do do. My Jelenia. If you haven't seen my multiple sclerosis videos, look them up. Those were like the first videos I made last year. Because I had just found out and got diagnosed last year with MS. But that Jelenia, it works really good. No real side effects for me. And I've been taking it almost a year. It may it be a year. So I do. If you can, take that Jelenia. My, it's not getting worse. I didn't, haven't really had a relapse with my MS, my multiple sclerosis. So I do promote that. It's only been a year though, so hey. Don't know how long. Hopefully it lasts, like, feel good like it's forever, but I don't know. I only got eight on um, beach arms. Okay, so now I'm almost done. Just have this last part to stitch. I'm going to have to use some gold or, uh, thread or some tan thread for this part down here, but uh, yeah, this is all I have left of the actual dress to stitch. See the threads right here, so yeah, I just thought I'd come back and let, give y'all a little update. It's 5.38 now. Last time I talked to y'all, was it 239, 2.38? Been doing this all day, basically from like 9, 10 o'clock to, it might have been earlier than that, y'all know what time I said at the beginning, because I'm just taking my time. You no, know, like I said, it relieves stress, so I'm taking my time, but I'm glad I finished. Because all I got to do is that little part, get some gold thread. Once I finish these little few little stitches, and then throw, finish that part, and she come pick it up. And the next thing y'all see will be, I'll probably show you part of me doing the gold, but stitching is stitching. So I don't know if y'all just need to see that little stitch, which it would just be me stitching from here to here probably probably not even that far but yeah about, yeah about from here to here with the gold so I'll probably stay on here till then and just fast forward everything <laughs> but the next thing you'll see with me talking will be when she comes to try it on and hopefully it fits perfect and looks perfect because her promise is in a week exactly a week Almost to the hour of the notion of it. More hours later than what it is now. So now I'm done with this black thread finally. And not that above the gold because I don't want the black to really show in the gold. So I'm just going to knot that. Once you got to the sweatshirt, you really thought you achieved something. That was your end of the year project was the sweatshirt. And back then you had the Coca-Cola shirts with the white stripe that said Coca-Cola and the rest of the shirt was red. So we kind of made sweatshirts just like that with the white stripe across your chest and your arms. And it said Coca-Cola right here, but ours didn't say Coca-Cola. I had made my pink and white. And the pink, the white came across here and, the, and across there on your arm and the rest was light pink. Well, it was a cute little sweatshirt. It'd be in style now. Because that vintage stuff is back, and that would have been, I mean, I think I've seen them on some of the websites. 
the online shopping websites, those type of sweatshirts that we used to make in school. And you didn't have to pay that much for that class back then. It was cheap. It might have been like 20 bucks, but I guess that's a lot back then. Yeah, pretty much. So I guess I'll take that back. 20 bucks was a lot in the 80s and 90s. Late 80s. Think. Yeah, because I was in high school in the 90s. Well, was I in homemaking high school? No, that was middle school. I took it in high school too, but that was cooking. We were cooking in high school. Home economics. Now it's called family preparation or some kind of crap. But if they don't do what we did, they don't get to do the good meals we used to get to do because we had stoves in our classrooms. Enough for about five groups, five, six groups. Refrigerators, everything. I don't know what they do nowadays. Just teach them stuff about babies and family and how to get a job, which is a good thing because you need to know how to get a job. <sighs> okay, that knot is pretty darn good. That knot is there. There's the knot. See? Can you see it? See? Right here. Knot. So I'm done. Done, done, done. Time for this last little stitch, which is gold. I'll be back. If you want like almost all the colors of thread without buying the whole big spool of thread, I got a couple of these. Buy these little things. You usually get these little sewing kits for like a dollar. Uh, and they have all the thread, but I, most of it spilled out in the drawer. But then they have other ones that like come in. The other one I have with most of the thread spilled out the door drawer is this one. That has different, all the different colors. It has more colors than this one. And this is like a dollar too. So yeah, just get them. They're usually like on the side of the sewing aisle. Hanging on the sides. But they're usually only a dollar. They have the needles, the thimbles. They have everything in there. The safety pins. dollar. So you can use these, this little bit of thread for that little tiny part. comes in handy instead of buying a whole spool. show you all. See? That's how it worked. And I just have to do the other side. Which is right here. Just have to do this side. Okay, so this is her trying on her prom dress. The one y'all saw me sewing. So yeah. And she has her shoes on. Show your shoes. This is what your room looks like when you're preparing for two proms at the same time. She has hers on still fitting. I'm still stitching some stuff up. Got to do her shawl. But yeah, this, this is what it looks like when you're I'm still doing some stuff last minute. The prom is today. And he's over there doing whatever he's doing on the tablet. But yeah, this is what happens to your room. Just preparing for two people's proms. And I got my mangoes because I'm about to snack. And my cookies I've been snacking on. But yeah, this is what happens. Yeah, two different people going to two different proms in the same day, people. The same day. I got to make her show. Tell us about all her jewelry and stuff that her mom got her. Crazy, crazy people. Crazy. Eventually, put her to work. So You're making her cut the end of the show. I'm not eating yet. It's put child her labor. To work. Put her to work. Child labor. This prom stuff. Madness. Madness. You'll be 18 in a couple months and it's 14 is child labor. Uh -huh. Will you stop doing that, J3? Yeah, no, she's about to turn 18. There's the mother. I'm throwing her in the water too. She's going to get thrown into the fountain at the Triangle Park when we go take pictures as well. <laughs> Okay, trying to finish up this show. 
And I have to watch these little balls that's on the opposite side that keep getting in the way a little bit. But we're going to get it together. We're going to get it together. What am I doing? <laughs> I just thought I was better because I'm doing it wrong, y'all.